Hey guys, welcome back. Def Spider here again. So we're gonna go over how to make bandages today. Um, this can be used, you know, whenever you're taking bleed damage. So if you press I and you click on the little human icon at the top right of all the other icons, you'll normally notice that you have, if you're taking damage from a bear, predator, vambi, something else, you have a red plus icon, like a health icon, somewhere on an arm or a leg or both or all. And you're going to take one of these bandages here and you'll drop it on, drag it over just by left clicking and drop it on there and that'll heal you. So you start off with, I believe, 10 of these and you'll eventually you'll start running out of them. So to make more of those, what you're going to need to do is kill animals. And when you kill them, you're going to get fat. And this is animal fat here. So we're going to go ahead and grab, like, uh, let's grab, I don't know, two or three stacks of that. Let's see, do we have any partials? So we'll grab this partial stack too. And then let's store our med kits. I just went over how to make med kits. All right. So to make bandages, we need tallow. Tallow is made from animal fat. And to make tallow, you need the workbench, which you start off with. So we'll go ahead and open the workbench. And you can either add two animal fat. You can move one at a time just by holding the Alt key and then right clicking. And that'll make you one tallow. And there's a little bit of a delay there, so you can't just rapidly click through it. So we'll use up this parcel stack. And so now we have four tallow. All right. You can also bolt craft it. So bolt crafting, if you hit I and go to the books, go to Itempedia, and to the bottom over here on the right side, it's bulk items. And this is where you bolt craft, like rope, arrows, uh, cloth, and various other items. So here you can bolt craft bandages, you can bolt craft tallow. It tells you the recipe right below it. So to bolt craft the tallow, we need 10 animal fat. So we'll press E to interact with our workbench again. We will hold the shift key, use the left mouse button, drag it over, and we will grab 10 of those. And that will craft, bolt craft the tallow. So you see we have four now. Hit craft, now we have nine, so you get five per bolt craft, just to save you time from having to like drag two at a time over. So we'll go ahead and craft these up really quick. And again, let's hold down the shift key, left mouse button. And you can either click around or you can slide the slider. I like to just click. It's, I find it easier because my, my mouse is so sensitive. All right, we'll stack these up, drag that stack over, and bam. So now we've got 39 tallow. We'll go ahead and make one more just to get it all even. All right. And so that's what we need to make bandages for the first part. The next part, what we're going to need is we will need to get plant fiber. So I save my plant fiber. I have crates upon crates of it. So we'll just grab a stack of 50. Head back in here to where I keep all my workbenches. And so for bandages, you're going to craft it again on the workbench. It's going to be, if you just want to craft one at a time, it's going to be one tallow and five plant fiber. and that gives you one bandage. Now then again, like I said, there are bulk recipes, so if you want to bulk craft it, Itempedia, bulk items, bandages, it's gonna be five tallow, 25 plant fiber. So we will use the 10 stack, cut it in half. We can half our plant fiber, roughly, now that we're not at 50, and craft that, and bam, gives us, I believe it's five bandages that we get, we'll check now. So we've got 12 bandages currently, and let's go ahead and drag our five tallow over. We'll grab, oh, we're gonna grab some more plant fiber. So let's get another full stack of that. Well, actually we'll grab a couple stacks because I am getting low on bandages. And with the new update coming out, I definitely wanna have a healthy supply of bandages and med kits. So we'll do 25 here, five there with tallow. And we'll craft that. It gives us five more bandages. And that, guys, is how you make bandages. For anybody who's wondering how to do it or the fastest way to do it, I would advise getting uh, a healthy amount of them made up for the new update because the Vambi AI is getting updated, so they will be more dangerous. And if you watch my medkit video, I go over why it's probably a good idea to have bandages and medkits on hand is because all the Vambies will have new attacks, they can hug you, they can stop you from moving, so the other Vambies will get in a bunch of hits. It might also be a good time to watch my armor crafting video. 
if you haven't already made armor yet. I would go ahead and get fully equipped and ready for everything that's coming. Because we do not know how smart or how well they're going to be able to attack us. Even I'm going to build defenses this time, like fences and stuff and foundations to hide behind. So I can fight them so I don't have to run around. But now that we have a healthy supply of bandages, we'll go ahead and store those up. As usual, I like to keep 10 bandages on me at all times. And then we can store the rest of this for later. If you like what you see, guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, need any more help, check out my other videos or leave me a comment below. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching the videos, guys, and I appreciate the support.